Yo, it's Elliot with Yo Elliot. You've got strength questions, and I've got your answers. Yo, Elliot. Alright, today we've got a question from this guy who broke his ankle and wants to get back into training. Check it out. Yo, Elliot. On New Year's Eve 2011, I broke my fibula and my tibia at the same time, so I was not able to walk for almost three months. I started walking in the past 10 days and I'm still kind of slow, but I'm doing my best. I want to get back to powerlifting and since all that happened, I lost around 45 pounds and I also lost a lot of flexibility in my legs. So I started to do things like yoga and pilates to get back the flexibility in my ankle and what are things I should do to get back to lifting and especially to perform well. What are things I should do and what are things I should avoid. I would love to hear. Alright my friend, very first thing is thank you for your video question. Now the reason why I took your question is because I too had broken my ankle and my tibia and fibia. Quick story, at a barbecue about four years ago, a couple friends of mine were, we were playing some games on a slip and slide and after several crowns and cokes we were just so trash that we decided to turn it into a a battle of strength and will and what we did was we would sprint towards the slip and slide which mind you was for the children and we would sprint as fast as we could knocking each other over and pushing and tackling whatever we could do because whoever got to the slip and slide first could dive in splash and they were the winner this is what we did so anyway i decide that after beating everybody in the sprint tossing them and getting past that as I approached the slip and slide, instead of just sliding face first, I decided to do a really cool sit through, but my leg didn't come through and I sat right on my ankle. So, college football, professional strongman, never hurt myself, drunken retardedness at a barbecue, broke my ankle. First bone zipper breaking my body. So, I know where you're coming from, dude, and I took a non-conventional approach to the situation. It sounds like you went to the doctor and had it all repaired and fixed up and you wore special stuff on your leg. Well, I didn't have health insurance because I'm a small business owner in America and we get it up the ass while people who don't work nearly as hard get all the care they need. That's a different story. So, having no health insurance, I decided to, I was just going to let it heal on its own. And um, this was before turning pro strongman, so you know that it all turned out just fine. Here's what I did. Uh, you don't want to know how it healed because you're probably already healed, but I just let it sit in ice for several months and laid off of it. But when I decided to get back into training, I didn't default to easy or yin forms of training like yoga and things like that. I needed to get right back into lifting heavy as fast as possible. So I was literally squatting with barbells two, three, about two months later. I, I needed my body to, number one, recognize those, or to continue to recognize, recognize those, um, those motor engrams. I didn't want my nervous system and my body to forget how to squat, how to lunge, how to deadlift. So I started, and I even have some videos up that I'll, I'll post really quickly that are of me squatting and deadlifting with a big, uh, with my ankle all wrapped up. So, nothing magical, I just decided I want to continue to be able to do this, so I'm going to do it. I didn't re resort to any other special type of training or, or therapy. What I did also was I, uh, I included way more unilateral type exercises in my program. So I would do, uh, this is actually the ankle by the way, so I would do a lot of single leg toe touches. I'd come up, I just, I just did tons and tons and tons of this to build the stability back in the ankle. Um, I would do it for multiple reps, and then as I got better, I would do the same thing with my eyes closed, which throws a completely new dynamic into it. Um, so that's what I would suggest as you're building up to your ability to squat and deadlift again. Then I started doing, uh, come on over here, Chris. We've got these, uh, these dots on the ground here that if you're familiar with, uh, with the bigger, faster, stronger football program, these are used to do a, the dot drill. I'm not going to demonstrate it now here for you, but essentially it's where you hop on one leg in multiple patterns 
on those dots. So I went from working stability and strength into power, which obviously when you're jumping, you're, you're exhibiting power. So I wish I could tell you that there was some magical therapy that I, I got involved with, but here is my suggestion to anyone who has suffered from an injury and wants to get back as quickly as possible. Begin doing the things that you want to be able to do as fast as possible and ascend through your therapy as quickly as possible. Don't, uh, don't, don't wait too long to get these things going again. That's it. Thanks for the question. Hopefully that's helpful to a lot of you who have injuries that need to get back as fast as possible. Keep sending your video questions. I will talk to you tomorrow. Yo, Elliot.